What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and a little update video. Um, if you pre-ordered your uh, RPG Maker MV, you do get all of the additional content and they give you all the scripts. However, they're not uh, in the direct they're not directly installed. You do have to add them still. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. If you don't know where your uh, Steam folder is, you can open up your your library in Steam. Right click RP RPG Maker MV, go to properties. And then you want to go to um, local files, and then you want to click on browse local files. And then right here, we'll, this is um, where all of the things are saved, uh, like the installation. So you'll see a folder called DLC if you pre ordered or if you just bought the DLC. Double click that to get in there. And then here's the, the five folders that they gave you. So basically, you want to go, start at the top, double click in, and then go to audio, and then go to background music. And then you can open up another folder to where you saved um, your game like <clears throat> when you create a game you get to specify where you want to save it and for me it was directly on um, see drive E and then I just named a RPG maker another folder called MV and I'm just gonna put all my games here it'll be in a different folder than where it was installed so you want to sort of copy paste basically everything in that you want to that you want to include so starting at the top, what I did is I went to audio and then background music, and I have two folders open, one for the DLC folder and then one for your, your game folder. And every time you make a new game, you'll probably have to copy paste these in there as well. So you just left click at the top, um, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then hold the shift button, and then left click at the bottom. That'll highlight everything. And then you can right click and then copy that, and then right click inside your game folder, and then paste it there. I've already done it so there's no need for me to do it but you would just click on paste and if you get an option saying um, do you want to replace this file I would say no don't replace uh, keep both files and then go through and figure out later on which one you want to keep that way you don't overwrite something that is a different file sometimes I've encountered that so uh, after you do background music you just go back into background sound you take this one back a directory background sound do the same process, left click, hold the shift button, left click the bottom, right click, copy, paste into here. <clears throat> Just keep both if they say, do you want to replace something? Go to the next one for ME, and you're going to repeat this. And you're basically adding all of these new DLC files into your game folder. And uh, that's basically it. Uh, after you get done with base resource, you'll go to cover art, and you go to each one will be in different location. This is background music, so you would go to background music. And they're pretty easy to understand where to put characters. You would go back um, out of audio, and you go into your game's direct uh, folder, and you find uh, image, IMG, and then you'll see characters. So then you would copy these three, and you would just paste them into your characters. Same thing for the faces. You go to IMG, or image, and then put them in faces. <clears throat> uh, pictures, same thing. You put them in pictures, so forth and so on. Essentials add-on, the same things are right here. And then we'll get to, uh, we have plugins. So uh, you have Kadowa. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Kado, Kadokawa. Sorry about that. Kadokawa plugins. And you can do the same thing. Left click the top, hold the shift button, uh, left click the bottom, right click, copy all those. You're going to put those into the JS folder and the plug. Not directly, but you're going to go to the JS folder and then plugins folder, and you would paste them there. You'd also want to not overwrite. You want to keep both. Sometimes you see I have two copies of the same one because I, I put copy pasted manually uh, the text files for all of them this morning. And then RPG Maker uh, web plugins, you have all these different ones. So you would just go into the folder, copy that, paste it in there, um, go through here, do the same thing. And then for Yanflies, the ones that the main the one uh, the scripts that I'm mainly looking at and gonna be using the most are these so you don't actually his website offers all of them that you could use to, to um, cut you know the direct uh, the script that you can copy paste into a text file and, and then rename to a JavaScript but you don't actually have to do that however if uh, you didn't pre-order and you don't buy the DLC then you that's one way the video before this will show you how to get this uh, these scripts without ha actually having to to uh, pre if you didn't pre-order because obviously you can't pre-order now because it's already released but that's basically it and there you have all of your scripts that they said they would include they actually did include um, and you have all the other stuff that's this is your installation folder so you've got a, a bunch of extra stuff which is kinda cool 
just that was just a quick video just to clarify uh this morning i said that oh they didn't include the dlc bull it's actually in your dlc dlc folder they did include everything um, and that's gonna do it i'm gonna start cracking i just got off of work so i mean I, I i was thinking about this all day but you know didn't have time so now that uh, i got off of work and i've got the weekend to play with expect to see maybe two videos a day uh, for tutorials on RPG Maker MB. That's going to do it for this video, though. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, favorite, share, all that stuff. Uh, comment in the comment below if you have anything you want to say. Um, really appreciate everything, and I read it all. And uh, if you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe to the channel. It lets me know that you guys are interested in this sort of thing. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.